Hello, and you are listening to the Tiny Vet Podcast with me, Dr. Nicole Sue, veterinarian, and my partner, me, comedian Jez Watts. I'm not saying that living neuroscience for comedy was a bad decision. Bad. But I, did, <laughs> but I did spend five months and nine hundred dollars to pay off seven hundred dollars in speeding fines. I also got bad from driving to a gig, which paid me one hundred and fifty dollars. Incredibly bad. That being said, two months ago, Officeworks gave me one thousand dollars in prepaid credit cards instead of my fifty dollar click and collect SD card order, and I used it to buy us a new refrigerator. So maybe comedy's gonna work out, baby. Fridge is nice. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want a new fridge. You wanted a new fridge. I said you could spend it on yourself and you said no. I know, because I love you and I wanted to No, because you were was... scared they would cancel the car. Well, I, I love you. No, that's why I spent it on something that you wanted, is that I love you, I want to provide for you. <laughs> and, but I rarely have the opportunity. And if it is only through bureaucracy. Bureaucratical yeah. mistakes, so yeah. be it. If, if the universe hands me a thousand dollars, and I'm going to be like, oh, maybe I can act like a real husband for once. <laughs> it's like I can't do that with my own money. I'm barely getting by. Anyway, <laughs> what are we talking about today? Oof, oof. Let's talk about refrigerators. I really like it. Yeah, it big. is bigger, isn't it? It's big. It's so much bigger. It's bigger. It's better. It's the kind of thing I would never buy. I don't think I've ever owned a refrigerator that wasn't secondhand. And oh, less, same. Less yeah. than 100 bucks. Um, yeah, the fridge and the new washing machine. Oh, yes. First ones we've ever bought new. That are like new appliances. Yeah. I mean, they're still like low end for new stuff, but... Oh, yeah. Um, it is nice to have things that are not just broken down. Yeah, where you need a very specific setting. Washing, yeah, yeah, last washing machine that we got secondhand to replace our old secondhand washing machine as a last minute thing would slightly flood the kitchen every time we did a load. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> it's very exciting to have something with a seal that operates And it's well. so small. Um, yeah. It's, it's, I'm just uh, using these horrible huge ones. It's a U-sized washing machine. That's not Small nice. and efficient. I am very efficient. Yeah. It's... It is nice. What's, the, what's wrong about that? Anyway, what are we talking about? We've been chatting about a bunch of other stuff. So. Oh, I'm quite excited about this one. What? Rats, our fat little friends. <laughs> oh, I love rats so much. You do. You like rats too. They're Name very an nice. You don't like uh, little is my animals. Question. Not that fond of cockroaches because in Singapore you get these huge ones and they fly at your face. Yeah. So that's a bit. Scary. You have flying cockroaches here too. I haven't really seen them. I've only seen the little I've, I've black ones. I've had them ones. fly at me. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Terrifying. Uh, yes, rats are fat little friends. They're fat, fat little friends. I believe I pitched this actual episode title. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, they are our fat little friends. <laughs> They're so cute. They're such great pets. Yep. They come with some drawbacks. Yep. But they're otherwise just such nice animals. They're all animals. Not really. Well, then that's a very unfair characterization. It really is, hey. Rats are synonymous with snitching to the authorities. Yeah. That's the definition of a rat. I mean, those are dogs. Dogs will tell. Like drug dogs? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was going to say, well, dogs just want to be a good boy. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah, they'll do anything, yeah. You betray your friend and makes you a good boy. It's like, mm, Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Rats are such nice little animals. I mean, yeah, I must admit the rats I've met have been really sweet. So sweet. And like, people don't like them because of their tails. Okay. Like, I've heard that a lot. Well, I thought people don't like them because they carry disease and yeah, well, pet- ev- and every association with them in literature is bad. Pet rats don't carry, <laughs> pet rats don't carry disease. No, no, but I think it's why people don't like it. It's the, mm. the, 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 you know, it's like a... Like the way people look up, look at rats is the way like white nationalists look at minorities, where there's just like a bunch of unfair stereotypes that uh, they think of reality. Yeah, that right? is actually quite true. Yeah, yeah. and also it's the like plague. all literature and all television and all media just goes rats are bad, and we I think we're programmed uh, to see rats are bad. When I met rats for the first time, which was actually pretty, I was I, like I think I was like literally a lab scientist at the time when I met lab rats, and they were all the sweetest little creatures, yeah. and I was like, what's this, I don't want to do experiments on these guys, uh, and, I, and I didn't. Uh, I quit I science before I would ever have to do experiments uh, on rats. could not. They're so nice. Oh. And also, they don't carry the plague. The fleas carry the plague, not the rats themselves. Yeah, it's, they need some catnip. Yes. 
we do need some cats. I learned oh from the previous God. episode. Oh, my God. You can learn. Uh, now I have to put, really stay in this right order. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, also you can use, like, uh, normal parasite sides on yes, them. Yes, of course. Oh, but, yeah, they're really sweet. They're just sweet little animals. They don't really have a lot of malice in them. Yeah. They're actually quite smart. I mean, there's going to be dumb rats as well. Most of them are pretty intelligent. Right. And they'll groom you with their little hands and their little Aww. tongues. Aww. It's just very cute. I find their little hands cuter than their little oh tongues. Oh my god, their little hands. I don't want their little tongues grooming me. No, 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 it's really cute. It's really nice. I used to, ha- I've had actually lots of rat patients that'll groom you and it's the freaking cutest. Mm. Yeah, because they hold you, like, your finger in their hand and they just lick it. Aww. Yeah. And oh, they're tiny little rat hands. So they're not going to eat you? They're not going to chew your finger? No. No. It's, I, it's actually really uncommon to be bitten by, like, a rat. For me, anyway. Yeah, for yeah. you. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, but you're, like, famously the vet that, like, pu- like mushes every bun's face. Yeah, I've never been bitten on the face. How other, crazy is other, that? That other vets look at you like, what the f- yeah, what the F are funny. you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's quite funny. Yep. Yeah, yep. yeah. So you're not, you're not, you don't get bit by nothing. That's, yeah, that doesn't mean that people don't get bitten. <laughs> I guess some people may be bitten more than I am. Sure. Yeah, but they oh, they're little rat hands, <laughs> and like you can float like peas and corn in some water in a container, and they'll like put their little rat hands in the water and take them out so they can eat them. <laughs> they're very small, so it's like, um, what's the like? Are they difficult to care for from a medical perspective? Mm, kind of. Because I know you've you've done like a lot of exotics and stuff. Yeah, so there are some drawbacks. So one is they all get respiratory disease. Right. I've done a lot of exotics. I've pretty like much only life, done exotics. What's the lifespan of a rat, like on average? Uh, two to three years. <laughs> yeah, another big. That's why we've never I don't had like rats. That, man. That's why we've never had rats. I can't deal with that, man. Yeah. Could not lose a pet every two or three years. I would jump off the roof. Well, this is yeah. This is we've talked. I think we've probably talked about this before in the podcast. But it's just like this thing of. Like when you get a pet with a short lifespan, like in general, uh, pets have shorter lifespans, right, than humans. And so this is why I still think we should, like get a, we should get a Galapagos turtle. I think we should as well. Um, Thank you. I'm gonna go get one tomorrow. Yeah. Cause, well, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Yeah. I think. What did you say before? Uh, it's like you know, getting a pet is an agreement to be sad sometimes. Uh, <laughs> like, oh, worst. I don't want a pet that goes in yeah. three years. I love rats, but I just can never have them because I can't deal with that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how. Like there are people that just have rats and that. I don't know how they do that. Yeah. Because like, they're just so have, nice. They're so charming. I've used a lot of rats. used to have mice when we met, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and mice are really sweet, but they, they're they not quite as engaging as rats. How so? Are they less smart or? Oh, uh, they're... Oh, it's hard to find that, isn't it? But rats are very personable. Okay. Like, they kind of want to be your friend, whereas mice are like, hello, but they kind of can take you or leave they, you. Oh, okay. So, whereas like, mice I, are busy being their own thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rats yeah. are like, hey, let's have a relationship. Exactly, yeah. Like, right. I've had rat patients where they've been like, oh, hi, nice to see you again. And they've groomed me. Yeah. And they like, like, you know, when you rub the bases of their ears and they make this little face and they just get so comfortable. Yeah, and they I have chitter. A, I have a friend, like, um, I'm not sure if she does comedy anymore, like, but I, I like, met her through comedy. Um... Uh, Alice, but like um, she uh, will post often like oh. uh, rat of the day. Yes, you know? and it's just they're so cute. They're so cute. It is this thing where you know, like before we were in a relationship, I had a lot of assumptions about animals. Most of which is that they should not be in my house. Um, and um, excuse me, they should the always be in this, houses. Yeah, through the ten years of this relationship, you know, like a lot of those have been forced to change in terms of my views. But like. Um, but yeah, just every time I've uh, met a rat or seen interacted with a, a rat, like pet rats and stuff, mm. I'm just like, every time I'm like, they seem more charismatic to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're just... <laughs> like, they're really cute, actually, it seems like. It's cool little guys. It's weird to, it's weird to say, because like, you think, oh, no, a rat is bad. No, oh, so nice. Yeah. So nice. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and they can eat everything. Like if you think about it, yeah, of course. Isn't that a, all right? What but it's that fun because you can just oh, give them little. Omnivorous. Yeah, you can give them little bits of things. Yeah, right. Uh, like uh, my favorite thing with rats is part of my anesthetic protocol is to give rats midazolam. Right. And a very fun side effect of midazolam is that it makes things it makes them really hungry. Mm-hmm. So after they wake up from anesthetic, I make them a tiny little peanut butter sandwich. And I give it to them, and they're just high out with their little rat minds, wolfing down this sandwich <laughs> with their little hands. It's so cute. <laughs> so I think uh, we probably have to wrap up the episode soon. But uh, like, how do people 
get rats? How do people keep rats? Yeah, so um, you can get rats from you know their breeders, their pet stores. Um, yeah. I always say try and rescue if you can. There are some rat rescues around. Um, they're not as common as dog, and cat, or rabbit rescues. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a rat rescue. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> part of it is the lifespan. You know, they don't they're not oh, around for right. as long. Um, but oh yeah, if you get a rescue rat and it's already two, then exactly. That's so sad. Yes. I, I think, don't get a rescue. No! <laughs> You're doing something nice for that rat. Yeah. But yes, it is something to think about. Um, and you should get them desexed. Yeah, yeah. You can desex them. Um, it's actually fairly easy to desex them. Um, right. I do it all the time. Because, yeah, they breed like crazy, right? Like, yeah, how, but what's like a litter of rats? Is it even called a litter? What's it called? Yeah, a litter. They're called pups. Um, um, like eight to 20. Yeah, okay, get them desexed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but also you can get, you know, two rats of the same gender and all that, and then people go out and desex them, but it does increase their lifespan. It reduces the risk of tumours and other stuff like that. To get like them desexed? Yeah. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, so I'd still something that I recommend. So it's like I, a positive medical Yeah, I understand that sometimes, you know, people don't feel, <laughs> they don't feel it's worth it for the lifespan of the rats, but... I, I really... mean, I feel like when it's so short, it's like you may as well do anything to increase it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And like they will live longer. They got less stress. Um, right. They argue with their cage mates less. So right. I think it's a really good thing to do. Okay, cool. Mm. And um, I always say there's rat pellets and stuff like that. And that should be part of their diet. But I'm a big proponent of fresh food. So giving them, you know, 40, 50%. You know, fruits, veggies, that kind of stuff. I think it's a really good thing for them. Antioxidants, da, 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 because they're so prone to respiratory issues. Any immune support you can give them is really good. Mm -hmm. And rub them on your face and kiss their little rat noses. If you're a freak. <sighs> they're so cute. The Tiny Vet Podcast is brought to you by Upilio. To support us, go to patreon.com slash tinyvetpod. Please like and subscribe. Hug your...